Hello, my name is Maria and this is Mathy, my mascot. In this lesson we are adding and subtracting whole hundreds, and I think you will find this pretty easy. My first problem is here with these picture symbols. This is a hundred flat, so we have here 200. And here we have 300, and the answer when we add is gonna be 500, right? But let's learn to write these numbers here in this grid. 200 would go 2 and 0 and 0, 300 would go here under it, and if we were adding in columns, we would add here and here and here, right? We would add the 1s and the 10s and the 100s to get 500. This was super easy. This one is a teeny tad more difficult, but still easy. My first number to add is this one here. You see it has two hundreds. And then those are the tens, three tens, and then two, two little dots. And then I add this, which is 400. Okay, and now we add here in the ones column, two and zero makes two. In the tens, we get three. And then in the hundreds, two plus four is six, 632. And you noticed that the ones and the tens did not change. And we can use that principle when we're adding just mentally without writing the numbers in the grid. 374 plus 200. You see, since we are adding whole hundreds, then these tens and the ones are not gonna change any. It's only the hundreds that we need to worry about. Here's 300, here's 200. 3 plus 2, 5. So I get 500, and then this 74, it's not going to change. 574. How about here? Can you do that one now on your own? 615 plus 300. Look at the hundreds. Since this is whole hundreds, then it's not going to affect your tens or ones. There's still going to be the 15. We just add 6 plus 3, 9. 915. And now we do the same with subtraction. This here is a number, and I'm gonna take away or cross out from it 300. Matthew, you can do that, okay? Cross out 300. Oh, hold on. Wait a minute. First, let's write it here. We have 600, 5 tens, and 8. And now, when we cross out 300, Yep, good job. Now we can see that the tens and the ones did not change, right? It's only that the hundreds are less. And so, of course, here we see the same. 8 minus 0 is 8. It does not change. 5 minus 0 is still 5 tens. And then in the hundreds, 6 minus 3, 300. So we can do these kind of problems mentally. We don't need to write them under each other. 708 minus 200. Can you do that? It's like 700 minus 200. We're just gonna get 500. And then these don't change. 556 minus 400. Just look at the hundreds. 5 minus 4. We are left with 100 only, and then the 56. And then look at this, Matthew, your favorite number is 9s. 999. Take away 900. So what is left? If you take away from 900, 900, then there are no hundreds left, right? We just have 99 left. Okay, a little bit more challenging because this is so easy, right? Add many, many whole hundreds. Add 500, 100, and 100. Okay, a quick way to do that is, I can think, 500, 100, 100 makes 700. So to this number, I add 700. And we get 200 and 700. Makes 900. And then the 16, they don't change. 962 minus 300 minus 300 minus 100. It's like I'm crossing out all those hundreds. So let me check first how many whole hundreds I end up crossing out. 300, 300, 100. Okay, this is a total of 700. So I just do 962 minus 700, and that should be 262, right? 
Next, we're going to subtract from 1,000. So, I put here a picture of 1,000 to remind you of something very important. And that is that 1,000 is actually 10 hundred flats. Okay, here's 100, right? This is 100. And there's 10 of them stacked end to end behind each other. So think of this as 10 hundred minus 300. 10 minus 3, 7. So 700 are left. Can you do this one? 10 hundred minus 600. 400 are left. Yep. Still easy. But here's a little bit of a puzzle. 200 plus a triangle plus 500 equals 1,000. Surely you can solve it. Here's 200 and 500, and they make together 700. So to 700 we have to add how many hundred to get 10 hundred? The answer is 300. Oh, too easy, Matthew says. Can I make you a new problem? Oh, okay. I'll make Matthew a new problem. What if I change this to something more difficult? 221. Now happy? He's happier now. Okay. I'll show you a trick how to solve it. Just in a moment. Think for a little bit. Since I made this number 21 bigger than it used to be, this number needs to change to be 21 less than it used to be. So 300 minus 21. It's kind of like 100 minus 21. I mean, we're going to have 200 something. And then I have 100 minus 21, which would be 79. There. Mary goes on a trip. Okay. Hope it is a um, vacation somewhere. First she flies 200 miles, and then she flies 500 miles. Lastly, she flies 230 miles. Three different airplanes. How many miles did she fly in total? Okay, in total would mean that we need to add, right? Let's write the addition here. 200 plus 500 plus 200. 30. Can you solve it? Pretty easy. How many hundreds will we end up having? There's two and five and two hundreds. That's 900, right? How about anything else? Just the 30. Yep, 900 miles, MI. And we're all done with this lesson.